Hey everyone, this is Jeffrey. This is regular Jeffrey's Gaming Channel. And uh, and this is Jurassic World Evolution. For some reason here lately, I have been in a city building, world building kick. And I, it's weird because I've never been into those type of games. Now I did play Jurassic World Evolution when it came out. I pre-ordered it, I believe, and I got it when it first released. And I played it a good bit uh, when it came out. I, I do like this because it's Jurassic Park. Uh, and that, that's I've always just been into that and dinosaurs. So I don't, I, I guess this is part of that, but I also downloaded the city skyline along, you know, but just due to my world building kick anyways. Uh, so I figured we could, I, I don't know. I just kind of start playing this and record it and post it and see what you guys think. Um, I am going to get this extra stuff. Like I want to go back to the 93 like I want to do that, uh, so we're we're I'm gonna end up doing that. But right now, I'm not. Um, but dang, like some of this stuff, like you can get the three individual packs, the uh, herbivore, uh, the herbivore, the uh, carnivore, and the Cretaceous. All those by themselves are like five fifty. Or you can get all three for like twelve fifty, and so I, I'm gonna end up doing that. But anyways, um, let's jump in. Let's do Jurassic World Revolution. Let's overwrite what I did the other night because I'm goofy. Hello. All right, while he talks, I'm gonna get a drink of Dr. Pepper. My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. Ah. Five deaths. Nothing better than Jeez, the first only, Dr. Pepper after work. Only there had been five. All right. So I am not a pro at this. I am not a professional okay, park a builder. Isla Matanceros. So take it on, easy on me stable. if you're watching yeah, and I start to drive you crazy. Here, and you should, I will explain what I'm doing. Big, angry, As I'm doing it, and, uh, but um, you try that. there probably won't be much to explain because of the way I think versus the way I think other people think. It's probably different. Well, we're all different, right? And that's what makes the world so interesting. Is that we're all different? Uh, and I know that I'm weird, so let's get into it. Cabot Finch, what a name! Cabot. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. Yes, we will. I know that. All right. Already started on an enclosure so we know it can go here. So what I like to do side. is I like but to move this thing side. around, and I like to try to find the cheapest spot to put it in. I think we can get it pretty low here. Hold on. We're in the 70s. There we go. There we are. I like to save That's every dollar I can, right? Which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. That feels like not an appropriate thing to say. Okay. You'll need to connect so here's to where I start to get confused. And the power grid. I just want a straight path. Now comes the real test. So, a to get it connected, you have to build a path. Lines. But what I start to run into problems with is down here, because there's our power station, right? There's enough genome data so where I start to run into problems is I'll put something here, something here, and then they usually want an observatory, you know, here. Well, that's at least where I put it. And then we start to run into power problems. Um, but we have a substation there, and we have a substation here. And you would think you could just do power lines on around. I don't know. We, we got to figure some stuff out. Okay. What are we doing? See, and I don't like this. This bothers me. They want me to rush a dinosaur out, right? It's at 65%. The machinations of the ambitious undoing extinction. 
playing with nature's laws i like to get him higher right i like him to be at 100 i'm i'm a weirdo i'm a, i want these things to be maxed out even more in our jurassic operations since the last time yes mr finch yes the but if you look at the amount of land you have to work with here look at this next this can all be like i'm at the edge you know not gonna mess probably with any of this it may be smart to clear some of this out and put another power station back here but look at this this is as far back as it can go like all that can be park same for all of this all of that from here back up there can be park 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 I think what I may do is I may hide some power sources back here. That could be a cool way to do it, right? Because the train stops there, and tourists would think, oh, it's all forest. And then we can go power stations back through here. Kind of keep the park over here, all the stuff you don't want to see back over here. Okay. We may be figuring something out here. All right, let's get this guy out. I wonder how much they had to pay Jeff Goldblum to voice incalculable this game. And reactions, trials and errors, I love these little dinosaurs. And so what I like to do is I like to name him Alpha. To a living, right, because he's the first. Thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And Even though he's not maxed out, you, right, he was only made out of like 65% genome. He's, so, he's the first. Well done. He's baby boy. I guess. Or wait, girl. Right? Aren't they all girls? The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Okay, so you get stuff from all of them. I don't think a choice here matters as much because you're going to end up with stuff from all. I usually go science first. Um, ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new director it just seems operations. the most logical I'm aware, to me. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Okay. So we'll click on this as it kind of gets... Contracts can oh my gosh. From Cabot, the get out of here, dude. The control room. I know. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. All right, we'll do that later, I guess. Okay. So we can... Oh, it won't let me even click on them. Okay, so we've got to do this right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to do the expedition center, which is what goes and gets our fossils. See, and then we get these yellow blobs. So the power center isn't doing that. It's only from the substations. So is the point just to build substations? What if we put this like right here? Just way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, see, this, this is the part that, the power aspect of this confuses me. Okay, so we're going to go right here with it. Ooh, we can get 20, but look how little that pathway is going to be. It looks lame. I think this is a good spot. Ooh, yeah. I think that's a good spot. Let's see if we can get it squared up. I do not like how fidgety these controls are sometimes. It's like trying to get this... 
All right. So one more thing, your reputation, your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. I'm not really gonna do this. I was just looking to see what it would look like. think money makes the world go around but they're wrong contracts make the world go around my friend so this is where we get our fossils and commitments complete a contract and your rep with the science division will this is where we get our research Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging this is missions. our power so power stations provide power to the island substations distribute power to nearby buildings okay my friends I've seen things I'd rather Ensure not talk about, substations are connected to the to power the stations using pylons. More generally, and me and Blue specifically, we have Listen a special to that. relationship, like what I have with Claire, less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. Why would they even use his picture and it not sound anything like him? Like, why would you even do that? So she wants us to go find a triceratops. So this guy's the one you send out to go find fossils. Uh, so we're going to tell him to go find us a triceratops. Uh, while we do that, we will go back here to these fossils. And this is where you extract the DNA. Uh, we already have a couple here. So we're going to get these done. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. Where's our little buddy at? That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. Is he out here? Good. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center Where for extraction. did Alpha go? See, this is a prop. Oh, there he is. All right, he's good. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Say, say I'm Paul. So as we get the percentages up, and that, again, that's where I struggle. I don't want to just rush dinosaurs out here with, like, bunk genome percentages. Like, sure, I could make a whole bunch more Struthiomimuses, but why? They're at 73% genome. Like, I'm getting 73% of a dinosaur. Why not wait till I can pump this bad boy out at 100%? That's sort of the way I'd do it. I guess I lose more money that way, because as you can see, I'm already losing 8500 8, a minute. But I think you gain more once the when the dinosaurs are are higher percentage, right? Like I feel like that is better for the fa the the customers. So you're gonna make more in return, I believe. A park like this would take time. A new opportunity with the science division. I think we could do that. And you should be. Um. I'll get into that in a second. Genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil I like set. to go to this one because this that one has uh, all three. Data you have to create dinosaurs. Ooh, that's a good one. When you get the uh, the mosquito and the tree sap, that's good. That's high quality stuff right there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, a park like this would take time to get up and going, right? Because... We're talking about dinosaurs here. Dinosaurs. If in Jurassic Park, any if you've seen Jurassic Park, you you know what I'm talking. Dinosaurs. Oh, creature. 
So it would take a long time to get this thing up and running. So, you know, I say, hey, if it takes a little extra time, so be it. So here's what I did when I was messing around last night. I was just kind of doing some stuff. So I ended up releasing like six different dinosaurs out here. I had two Struthiomimuses, a Triceratops, and a uh, Edmontosaurus. And I was like, well, I'm done playing. I'm going to restart tomorrow because I was like, well, I kind of want to record a little bit. And I may restart. So I released one Cer Ceratosaurus in there. That dude went straight for the Struthiomimuses. But people went crazy. The The people that were here at the park were rushing to go see it happen. So he goes and attacks the Struthiomimus, which was sad. I told the helicopter and the jeep to go flare and dart him down. Uh, the other dinosaurs got so scared, they busted out of the gate around in here somewhere. So then I had, di I had like an Edmontosaurus running around out here. I had people running from him. I had people run into the observatory to watch the Cretosaurus or whatever he is uh, rip open the Struthiomimus. And I was like, wait, this is a money opportunity. We are making great strides so far. So I clicked I back over to the, because you can drive the Jeep, like you can actually drive it around. And you can control the dart gun yourself or you can take pictures. So I was in here, so I started trying to take pictures of him eating. To sell them, because I thought, well, let me make a little, a little bit of money off of it while I can. And then he started trying to attack the Jeep, and I was like, oh, I gotta get out of here before I get somebody killed. Alright. So we're back already? Oh, wow. Okay. Let me send them back out. And let's come back here. Oh, this is a good one. Look, we got almost 10% just off of this one fossil. Yes! Nice! Big jump. Okay, so these two things here, so sometimes they will come back with other things that aren't fossils, but you can sell them. Like, I'm going to make 80k off of that. I'm going to make 40k off of this uh, copper light. So. Oops. So that's nice. I don't think that helps my, my profit margin. No, but it'd be cool if it did. So what I like to do, I like to send them to this dig site, because this dig site has all three at it. Um, so sometimes you come back with like a good mix. And for me, I like to get the Struthiomimus and the Triceratops done pretty quickly, and then I work on the Edmontosaurus. Because uh, I just, with the carnivores, I'm, I'm not in big much of a rush to get those out. Like I'd rather get the part set up before I start running the carnivores out because I feel like here with the herbivores like you could just expand this out some give them more room and this could just be like a big herbivore section right because they don't really need to be by themselves you know like you can have like two of everything the way I way I think I want to do it is kind of expand this thing out to where it's just one big herbivore section. And that's right when you come in, you come in, you get through all this, you're like, okay, ha ha ha. Uh, you know, serious crap. You get acclimated and then boom, you go right here. You got all herbivores to the, to the left. We can extend this path out some, do something there. And then I say when you turn right here, that's when it starts getting crazy. A couple carnivore, carnivore, turn, more carnivores, 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 carnivores. Stop over here somewhere. And then we'll put some more trees here. We'll have more utility stuff back here to kind of hide it. And then maybe on this back row as you're leaving, gift shop, gift shop, uh, come spend your money. And I may do a couple gift shops here too, like as you're coming in, like a gift shop here or here. So that way, just as you're coming in, you know, or leaving, you're spending more money. Uh, all right, let me send these guys back out. And let's see what we got. 
Oh, nice. Another tree sap for the Struthio Mimus. Nice. We might have him at 100% here soon. So this is the way I like to play it. Yeah, I know I lose money here at the beginning, but I truly feel like there's a good way to bounce back. And I guess if I was a good content creator, I would just be rushing through things to show you stuff. But here, here's the way I look at content creation. People, there's people doing those kinds of videos. I'm sure you could type in Jurassic World Evolution and click on the first 20 things that pop up and it's people going, Ooh, what's up YouTube? I'm going to rush out a Carnivorosaurus and uh, let's get the T-Rex and the Raptor and then let's put a Brontosaurus in. Like, I, you know, there's enough of that. Okay? I don't... Hey, I'm Isaac. Why? I don't have dinosaurs right now. I mean, I guess we can accept that, but I'm not going to do it right now. I don't even have people coming to the park. Um, okay, get out of here. Um, you know, I like to watch things that I'm going to be into. The way that I play things, the way that I do stuff, I just don't feel like there's enough of that out there. Because uh, when I go to find things to watch or you know look into, I, I, it's very hard for me to find somebody kind of just enjoying things the way that I like to enjoy them as well, which is not crazy and exaggerated. Um, because you don't play video games that way. You don't. You don't. You don't act that way. Even if I wasn't recording this, I wouldn't be sitting in my room right now going, Whoa, Jeffrey, let's rush out a, a T-Rex and a Coronavorosaur and a, and a flip hybrid. That's stupid, man. I ain't got time for that. It's dumb. So we're going to take our time. We're going to build this park up. We're going to have a good time doing it. And, uh, and, and that's all that really matters. Let's see what our helicopter brought us. Okay, we'll send you back out to... I think that's Utah, isn't it? Let's look. Oh, it doesn't really say, does it? Let's see, if that's Mexico, and that's Florida, then all this has to be Canada. So I wonder if this is... Okay, so this is right on the line. So could that be Mon... No, North Dakota. That may be U Utah. Huh. If that's California, and that's Alaska, then this over here is Africa. I think that's like, I think that may be North Dakota and that may be like, maybe South Dakota? I don't know. Alright, let's see what they brought. Oh, nice, dude. We are killing it this game. This may put us at 80% on the Triceratops and. We're going to be like mid-60s for that Montosaurus. Let's see how he's doing. Oh crap, he's hungry. What were we thinking? I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla what were Nicar, we thinking? I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. I can get you some food, bud. I like to turn these oh feeders down, uh, dispense every eight place. minutes. That's like a waste, because they're not eating that much. I usually set one at 45, and then I set one at like 40. 
because again they're not eating that much um and you don't want to just be wasting food Let's see what we got here. Ooh, nice. A little 80,000 piece of rhodium. Where's he at? I'll put you some food in here, bud. Don't starve yourself. Not like I was doing. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. He's eating. Nice. Did you some water? Oh, you're good. Never mind. He's comfortable. He's feeling good. Getting him some water. He's got good health. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what we got here. They live in very large social groups. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get you some. I'm gonna get you some guys in here, bud. Uh, really, really soon. You're gonna have a. You're gonna have a buddy. Another Struthiomimus and some Triceratops. Let's see what these are at. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 80, 81, 281 percenters. That's what I'm talking about. See, what else can I build? Can I build? I can go ahead and build the ranger station. Hmm. I'll wait. Because I think someone's going to ask me to do it. And I think that'll be a good thing to check off the, the box there. Let's go to the research center and just see what we got here. Uh, genetic. No, 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 no. Let's see, buildings. Nope, that's not what we need. Uh, building upgrades. Oh. This is Lambert, head of oh, yeah, we can do that. Yours, that's easy. Theirs, okay, yeah, here we go. Fossil Welcome Center. To the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look. Everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Wow, we just made 140,000 just from selling whatever those two things were. So he wants us to find a carnivore fossil, which isn't hard to do. Uh, we can do that in a second after we get these other ones kind of up a little bit more. Cause all we gotta do is tell him to go dig at a uh, at the uh, We got some, we got, we got really lucky with the genomes. Wait, what did it need us to do? Release Streetheomimus with 46 year lifespan. Oh wait, no, I did not mean to do that. What was I thinking? Modify, not actually do it. So you can see the lifespan there. Well, he's already at 51% or 51 years. Wait, what? With a 46 lifespan? He's, oh, I guess because I've already gotten him so high. He's already at 51 years. So you can apply genes to him and it does different things, right? It could release, it, rele it reduces, excuse me. 
their viability, but it include it bumps up the rating because I think that makes them a different color. Um, you know, there's different things like this bumps up his lifespan. That can bump up his resilience and his rating. So there's different things you can do. Okay, let's see what we got first. Because when you get low like this on the street, the Omimus, like they're both pretty close. So then what I can do, uh, because you know what you're going to get. Well, we'll keep doing that because they're both like mid 80s. That's not hurting nothing. But when one gets close, then you can find a place that just likes or just has um, um, I, my words have escaped me. You can find a dig site that just has that that dinosaur. That's that's the word I was. That's the uh, sentence I was looking for. So I wish we could get another team going. And have two, like boom, 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 boom. And have them staggered to where one's leaving as one's getting back. So you're always just sending one out. And that way you're not really waiting. Like one could be landing, send another one out. So you're doing this, sending him out, sending him out. Looking for water. No wonder you went extinct. Look at, there's a whole lake in front of you, dude. Dinosaur. It was a known prey of Tyrannosaurus, and unlike other hadrosaurs like the headcrest. Oh, gameplay pause. No, we don't want to do that. Crap. We need a dig team to be digging. Dinosaurs. Yeah. Dinosaurs. So yeah, I've been posting some Ghost of Tsushima uh, videos, episodes. If y'all have checked those out, I appreciate it. If you have, well, if you're still, well, what am I? Uh, you know. I don't know if I'm retaining people this long into episodes, but. All right, yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna send this guy to be more targeted. Uh, but yeah, if, if you've checked those out, have you liked them? Um, you know, what, what have you thought? Yeah, we're still losing about.
I'm really enjoy it. I'm really enjoying Ghost of Tsushima. Um, and the 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 views and stuff I've gotten on it have been great. I uh, really appreciate everybody that's watched. Um, it always means a lot. Uh, to see people, you know, watching your content, you know, whether it's something small or, or big, but, uh, this, this episode's, this is at like 35 minutes, which is kind of that sweet spot I like to try to stay around, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this episode here, you saw what the plan is, what we're doing, I'm going to keep farming fossils essentially until I get them at 100% the triceratops and the streetheomimus uh, and then with the next episode I will start up from there I won't do anything else I won't build anything or anything like that uh, so you won't miss anything oops uh, I'm going to send it back to the try place because they're he's pretty close again and what you don't want to do is you don't want this to get to like 100% or close and then go over or whatever like you're gonna have to sell that fossil um, but you, you don't want to like bring you don't want to tap that resource out you know and be so anyways so I won't do anything I won't build anything or anything like that I'm gonna keep getting fossils for the street triceratops and probably the edmontosaurus well I don't know I'll push it until the money gets crazy and then the next episode, I'll pick up me continuing forward. Depending on how this one does. If, if you guys don't really care about this, I may not make another episode. Uh, but if you do, cool. Let me know. Uh, if you do like this, again, let me know. Share it. Comment. I'd love for you to got comment and talk. Like, what's your favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite Jurassic Park movie? Do you have a favorite line? Is it dinosaurs? Or is it? Hold on to your butts, because those are both pretty freaking good. Um, did you read Malcolm's book? All right, that's from, like, the third one, right? All right. Eddie, is his name Eddie in that movie? He's such a weird character. Like, is he kind of... I, 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 I. Okay, so if you like it, cool. Comment, like, share, subscribe, do all that cool, fun stuff. Go check out my other content, Ghost of Tsushima, Diablo 4 Beta, Diablo 3. There's some other stuff on there, blah, 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 blah. I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm going to keep doing Ghost of Tsushima. I think I'm going to play Final Fantasy IX soon. I may record that a little bit. We're just having fun right now. Uh, we have a little while until anything comes out because I hadn't decided what I'm going to do for Jedi Survivor Fallen Order yet. Um, so, But anyways... Do all that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you want to read some of my writings, I contribute over at the Greekly. God dang. I contribute over at the Geekly Grind, uh, which is a really cool website. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do some anime stuff here soon uh, for the site and also do some older reviews of games. Uh, not like old games or like what you would classically or consider like retro uh but um anyways so yeah go check that out go check all my other videos out i really appreciate it thank y'all so much i'll see you back here for more drastic world evolution or go shishima i don't know uh either way it's tuesday so go have fun play some games and i'll see you later all right